an amazing day. We're here at Lake Norman here in North Carolina. We're gonna give you guys the first ride review video on the 2024 Harley Davidson Road Glide CVOST models. You guys thought the regular CVO models were amazing. These ST models are even more insane. Let's go over the bikes a little bit and then let's hop on and go for a ride. What's up guys? What's going on man? Today is an absolutely amazing day. They're still shooting the commercial for the 2024 Road Glide CVO ST models. Man, just a couple months ago me and Rob were in Northern California filming for the 2023 Road Glide and Street Glide CVO models, the reveal commercial, and now I'm here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Look at this beauty. 2024 Road Glide CVO S T model. There is just so, so many things that are different on this bike. So obviously it has all of the brand new fairing, the gas tank, the bags, all of the bodywork. Everything is new taken from obviously the standard CVO models. So let's go over kind of what is new on the bike. So let's start from the front. So it has, I believe, a lightweight aluminum cast wheels. The wheels are absolutely phenomenal, beautiful. It has the red writing in there cvo st in red four piston brembo calipers 320 millimeter wave rotors they look they look awesome man on this bike the inverted fork that's has been carried over from the cvo models it has a carbon fiber front fender which looks awesome so let's just go over the carbon fiber trim really quick so it has carbon fiber front fender has like little inlays of carbon fiber here and there like i'm still finding beautiful little touches that they did to this bike has the beautiful carbon fiber end caps on the muffler has the back like the seat scoop I think it's called in carbon fiber. It has the center console here on the tank, all in carbon fiber. The red touches. Another thing, 25 year anniversary of the CVO from 1999, 2024, 25th CVO anniversary edition. I said it previously when the CVOs came out, but this has to be the most beautiful Harley Davidson I've ever seen. As far as a production model goes, it is absolutely gorgeous. So another thing, let's go here. Here now you have the different uh, engine guard crash guard you have it's almost like uh, what I have on Mad Max almost like the Santoro fabrics bar it's really sporty love the look it comes down gets mounted to the bottom and to the top right there beautiful crash bar love it it's really sporty like look at even the foot pedals look at my hand they made them so small now really nice and sporty brake pedal beautiful just so you guys know the CVO ST models they come in the white 
and I'm going to show you guys there's the black one right there so it comes in white and black this color is absolutely amazing you have the eagle right there the screaming eagle you have the flare right there all in red and then obviously the CVO ST logo at the bottom going to the suspect to the suspension this suspension it is the inverted fork you got fully adjustable Showa shocks in the back that looks that looks awesome man I got the red touches with the black so a fully adjustable front and back suspension we have a different style windscreen for the front here it's got like a little lip lower it's got that little flare on the top big thing if you guys haven't seen yet if you guys notice look at this bar setup it's not like the bar setup like it is on the standard CVO. You have a set of risers right here and you have almost, it's almost like a T-bar setup. It feels and looks fantastic. I love it. The Rockford Fosgate stereo system, nothing on the lids though, but you do have it on the front. Another thing that they have, I think it's sport rain and road modes they have this has a track mode so i don't know the particulars but the track mode from what i hear kind of settles down the intrusiveness of the traction control and the abs if you want to start you know if you want to do a burnout rolling burnout some donuts then that's what it has it has the track mode or if you want to take the bike to the track that's the mode that you would use it in beautiful looking seat it has like the carbon kind of like end cap here looks really good solo seat has the cvo st logo right there black all in red stitching front uh the fender the, the rear fender the bags the tank and the front fairing all and also the skirt right there everything is from the cvo last year's cvo model so then what else uh we can actually go and talk about the engine so this is pretty cool this engine is the 121 high output this thing redlines almost 6,000 rpm i think it's like 5900 but if i'm incorrect on any of the numbers i will put them down below in the video so you guys could see it but this is a 121 high output check this out no vvt so this is standard motor high output that's great so because obviously the vvt was for um you know grand touring more efficiency better fuel economy still put out good power but this i believe puts out 127 horsepower and 145 foot pounds of torque which is i believe like 10 or 12 horsepower more than the cvo and about six to seven foot pounds more of torque so this is fantastic and it's high output revs out higher it's got the beautiful black chrome exhaust going in to the screaming eagle titanium mufflers uh, guys i'm telling you like we all have to understand we are euro five and that has to obviously all the motorcycles has to be compliant for a off the showroom floor harley davidson this motorcycle sounds absolutely amazing i'm telling you even the cvo that we tested in the beginning of this uh beginning of last year it sounds absolutely phenomenal for a off the showroom motorcycle even the red trimming on the seat on the shock on on the tank on the inlay the red i love it the bars are different the brakes the back rotor looks stock it's not a wave rotor just the front but this bike also is coming in at only 800 pounds that is absolutely insane it feels so light all right guys let's hop on this bike i'm gonna grab matt we're gonna go for a couple hour ride other things i'm not gonna go over which were already standard on the previous cvo models this bike is absolutely beautiful right there 120 21 high output absolutely gorgeous gorgeous bike all right matt's ready let's go now this bike same thing man let me tell you this this bike feels so light holy cow same thing you click it on there's matty boy hey he's on the black one i'm gonna follow him once i put in neutral one click and right there you could see it's in purple that's track mode all right buddy Been waiting all day to ride. <laughs> You guys hear that? Man. Oh, wow. 
That's fast. <laughs> yep, brakes are good. Fast, man. So responsive. You got track mode on yours? <laughs> now he's got to find a truck. Yeah, that's right. Obviously, the dash carried over. Look at that. It's just amazing. I love it. That's engine temp. You got the outside temp. You got miles left remaining 115 on the tank mileage tack speedo gas fuel right there battery and i don't want to start flicking with buttons right now but you could obviously put it in the navigation mode where a portion of that is on the side and the rest is navigation there's a bunch of different ways uh you could set it to boards even though they're smaller i like that i don't really necessarily care for a large floorboard they almost kind of feel like they're back further i don't know it could be me but almost feels like my mid controls to tell you the truth feels kind of a little bit more back and up higher feels really good almost 6,000 rpm red line We'll open her up a little bit once we get out into some open roads, but wow, you could um, immediately, 127 horsepower, 145 foot-pounds of torque, uh, you could feel it. I mean, look at that, oh, wow. Throttle feels snappy, and the bike just feels so nimble. I love this bar setup, awesome, awesome, awesome. Little riser, nice bar kind of in a t-bar style i would just like push them kind of a little tiny bit forward and loosen these four bolts kind of just tweak it forward a little bit you got all your suspension settings right there right out in the open it's that's awesome i tell you guys if you've never seen the screens on the on the new models it's it's fantastic fantastic you got all look at that all steel braided lines for the brake and clutch look really nice i'm gonna open up these vents here they really work really well it's pretty hot today 66. man same thing you know goes for this bike just like when i did the review video on the C 2023 CVO models. I'm gonna be talking about the Road Glide. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have changed those bars. Those bars are like perfect. Well, this setup, I'll tell you, they knocked it out of the park. It just feels so, so comfortable. And you got that T-bar styling, T-bar look. Looks great. Gives you a lot of confidence in kind of how you're controlling the bike. Braking. It's just phenomenal. The braking's great. The suspension is even better with this sh uh, Showa. And I'm sure it could obviously be a lot more better once it's perfectly dialed in. Wow, this thing boogies, guys. Boogies. Yeah, the front end jumped up. <laughs> but what do you guys think about the styling and what they did to it? I, I really love it. I'll show you guys the black one when we stop. I'm not sure exactly which one I like better. The white, you have to see the white in person. It's like this, almost like a pearl white. So much metallic flake in it, it just pops. And then like all the black and the red, everything just pops off the paint. The minute, the first time I seen the white one, I thought I thought that was uh, probably my favorite. But then I looked at the black and like, the black has so much metallic in it as well. And then with the, obviously with the red popping, you know, in the Eagle, in like a silver gray, almost like a battleship gray. I'm not sure which one I like better, but it might be, it might be the white one. The white one looks, it just really, really pops. Let me know what you guys think, which color you guys like better. It's 
like pretty much everything else, you know, carried over from the 2023 CVO models. As far as the switch gear, the infotainment system, um, exactly how like all the buttons and everything are laid out. I'm not sure about the grips. We could find out about the grips, but heated, heated grips? No? No. no. So yeah, there's like a couple things obviously because they added so much, I'm sure to probably keep the price point down. Look at that. It just wants to lift the whole front end up off the ground. Wow. And for me, I just love, absolutely love the new lines, the new body style on the street glide and the road glide on the baggers. I absolutely love it. I love the front fairing. I love the tank. I love the bags, they're they're wider. I just actually put my camera bag in here and it just literally like plopped right in. There was no like kind of folding it up or squeezing it a little tighter like uh, on my 22 Road Glide bag. Yeah, it's just, it's really, really beautiful, the design of it, how all the lines flow, you know, from the fairing into the tank down to the bags. That's a, a really, really good amount of power for a 121 high output. Nice power numbers, nice torque numbers, and you could definitely, definitely feel it. So I'm sure you guys probably already know, you know, how I feel about, you know, having, if I ever, were ever to have a CVO. Like me personally, again, I'm gonna say this, I reviewed the past couple years CVOs and I would tell you the same thing. If you plan on purchasing a CVO, me personally, I would not change like any, almost anything because I wouldn't spend, you know, 50 grand on a CVO, which has the CVO VIN number to start removing parts and replacing parts. And it's just gonna kill and depreciate the value on this beautiful motorcycle. So if any of you guys are curious, would I do anything? No, I wouldn't. It literally has everything you need. The braking system is there. The suspension is there, especially now on the ST, fully adjustable Showa. The bar setup, definitely, definitely, I would not replace. This is like I said, pretty much like a T-bar setup. It is super, super comfortable. It looks fantastic. No need, I would definitely not change that. I'll, I'll be honest with you, just like probably my same answer as I said. As I said for the previous CVO models, I would maybe, maybe, maybe change the seat to something a little more cozy and comfy. And I would put on, uh, actually, yeah, I don't know, maybe not. That obviously that now that bar you can't obviously use that that bar you can't because of the intake you cannot use that bar for a highway peg so yeah I'll put on some highway pegs for long distance trips to kick the feet back but other than that the seat the highway pegs I would probably definitely change out the windshield to something higher if I lift up my windscreen right now because it's the super super short one because uh, it's the sporty one on the CVO I am getting a lot of wind obviously in the head and face but those three things that's it see highway pegs and the windshield yeah so like in track mode right now I'm able to lock up the back tire I think it just loosens up the restrictions on the traction control I think and on the ABS so this way you could, you know, you could really punch it on the track. Oh wow, this baby moves, man. This is some beautiful country here too. North Carolina, really nice. I'll tell you another thing, the clutch lever is super smooth. Oh baby. This thing boogies, guys. <laughs> Matty boy. <laughs> Look at that front end just pop up. You just feel so confident with the new body style, the new 
bike because of the suspension, because of the braking. Oh. Sounds really good. Like even the brakes, they're just wow. <laughs> yeah. Brakes are, you can't even compare the brakes against my bike. Cannot compare. These brakes are definitely, definitely better. Without a doubt, night and day. I would definitely not look for any more power on this bike. Absolutely. Honestly, even if it wasn't, even if it wasn't a CVO, this is like the perfect amount of power. Just so sweet. Holy cow. <laughs> ah, this feels really good. Really good, a little wet here. Throttle smooth, braking is great. I like the wheels too, you know, they don't have the same spoked wheels as the standard CVOs. I really love the wheels, definitely. Man, this thing revs up really fast too, boy. <laughs> so smooth, even the gear shifts, finding neutral. Let's see if we could go into a, a different, uh, different mode. Let's see if I remember. If you go here, navigation. Yeah, the, see, then the map comes up on the left. So I don't want to change a lot of things around, but you know, you could configure this infotainment system in so many different ways. Right now I got like ride info, um, all that information. You got like the engine information, gas, volts, miles, tax, speedo. And then on the left, you got the map, which is awesome. Like you got everything, you have everything you need on the screen. So honestly, this thing, um, my bike, because I have the carbon fiber wheels, my bike's probably in the upper 700 pound, like 800 pound range. I, I think I definitely want to wait again because honestly, after the carbon fiber wheels, it might, it might even gotten below 800, maybe hit like 790 something. I'm not sure. So I'm really interested to see, but like this bike, it feels like my bike, like that responsive, like that easy to tip in and out of a turn from side to side, really, really nimble. Antiquity, North Carolina, look at this covered bridge, pretty cool. Yeah, this is absolutely, without a doubt, 100% enough power to make probably 99% of the people out there absolutely happy with this motorcycle, I'm telling you. And honestly, for some people, obviously, because they like stock uh, motorcycles, I should say like non-high output motors and stuff like that, it might even be too much, but for people, that love like performance and that love power for people that would take their motor anyway and do a stage two or rip it out and do a bigger motor man this is for you this is for you if you like power this is for you and you don't need to do anything else to this bike what do you guys think about the styling of the bike. I mean, obviously we went over the performance and the braking, the engine, everything. I'm telling you, it's absolutely fantastic. If you guys have 
an opportunity to take even the standard CVO for a ride, you absolutely should. The looks of the bike are beautiful. Love that carbon fiber front fender. Which color would you guys choose? I'm curious to know too. White or black? Man, I don't, I really don't know. When I first seen the white one, I said, you got to be kidding me. Wow, just all the black, as you guys are looking at it now, right? All the black and like all the red trim and everything. It just looks so awesome off the, just pops off the white. But then now I'm like looking at Maddie's bike here and it just, oh my God, the black looks outrageous too. You know, I'm, I always like black. Black always looks good, it's timeless. And with the red, the red accents, you know, like on the Derby cover, the ST logo, the red stitching on the seat, the center console on the tank, you know, the little inlays on the valve covers, you know, all that just, it just looks so nice. So I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I honestly would be happy with um, either or, but I think the, the white just, it just says, bam, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, a lot of people say, oh, white, you know, white will get dirty fast, but nah, I wouldn't be worried about that. You know, you just put a, a, a good coat of wax or, or you ceramic coat the bike and just take care of it. It's always going to look brand new. You know, this is not a bike also where, you know, it's not going to be garage kept. This bike is going to be garage kept. You know what I mean? You don't buy this bike if you don't have a garage. <laughs> really like the wheels too. I mean, I, I like, I do like the spoke wheels. I don't mind them, but I think these just look, uh, they look more sporty. So another thing is too, guys, it's actually November and you guys are watching this January 24th. So nobody, nobody knows about these bikes. So that's why we kind of have to be careful. You know, we actually have covers inside of the bag. So this way, if we do stop somewhere, we could cover the bike so nobody sees them and starts snapping photos. As they're obviously recording the reveal commercial, you know, around the Charlotte, North Carolina area, you know, the same thing is obviously happening. You know, we're in areas where there's uh, pretty much nobody there. Police has all the roads and stuff, areas blocked off. So nobody could come in and kind of take a sneak peek <laughs> so you know this is you know down on the down low you know on the hush hush now we're heading back we got a nice little ride ahead of us and we're gonna just see what these puppies could do baby Yeah, yeah, baby. So if you guys have any questions, hit me up. Feel free, let me know. Let me know what you guys think about this amazing CVOST model and all the upgrades and changes that they did to it. I also have an interview with Kyle Wyman because he was a big part of the design on this motorcycle. So we did an, a little interview. So he kind of went over a lot of the details and stuff and kind of tells us his thoughts. So make sure you guys check that out. So nimble, so nimble. Whoa, <laughs> yeah, buddy. Holy cow, this thing is fast. Man, <laughs> I'm telling you guys, whew, baby. I'll show you a little sneak peek of the black one. Black is nice too. Come on, let me know. Hit me up in the comments. Which one is it, the white or the black? 
<laughs> I don't know. They're both nice, but I, I think I I think I like the white a little, a little just a little bit better. Let's feel this baby. We got 4,000 RPM, fourth gear, third gear. Oh yeah, that thing moves, man. Wow. 5th gear, look at this, 80 miles, 75. Oh my God, it's just pulling hard. Holy cow. Look at that, 5th gear and high output, almost to 6,000 RPM. I'm really impressed with this bike. I am really, really impressed. Super impressed with this motorcycle. Wow. That's all I could say, man, is wow. Just great, fantastic job. Fantastic job. Oh my God, it just, it just pulls so hard, even in fifth gear. the other brand new 2024 Harley Davidson Road Glide and Street Glide standard and CVO models, you definitely are going to want to check out Blockhead, Just GQ, and Two Lane Life YouTube channels to see their full ride and review videos. Links are down below in the video description for each video.